What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. Today we're gonna style the old school vans in 12 different ways. That's because I've got two new colors in my collection that actually inspired me to do an updated version of this video. And this is them right here. We've got the chocolate brown all suede and then this nice stone color also in all suede. Then we have the navy canvas and suede, the gray canvas and suede, the yellow canvas and suede, and then lastly the all white leather vans that we're gonna style in 12 different outfits today. Some are more spring, some are more summer, some are more dressed up, a lot more dressed up, some are more dressed down. So I'm really hoping to explore a few different options in terms of color, in terms of style, in terms of seasonality with these classic sneakers today. So with that said, let's get started. Take a look at outfit number one. I'm already wearing the first outfit and we're starting out with the yellow old schools. Up top, I'm picking up the yellow with this nice linen blend shirt from Zara. It's got cream and yellow stripes and perfectly matches the color of the sneakers. Underneath, I'm wearing a Uniqlo tank top in all white, simple, but I love using this as a base layer for any spring or summer outfit. On my legs, we've got a Zara patchwork jeans, and then we've got some white socks. You'll see me wearing white socks a lot with these sneakers, primarily because there's white in the laces and the sole and the design of the shoe, so it picks up nicely, but you can always opt for different color socks, for no-show socks, or if you like them, keep them white. So this first look is pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple, but a little bit of that play on the color works really well. A pair of jeans that's a bit more interesting than your average pair of jeans that doesn't have any of these nice design features. And then opening up your shirt and adding another layer makes this look, even though simple, a bit more interesting and a bit more dynamic. For outfit number two, we're taking a look at the navy vans. And like I just said, same thing with the socks. White jeans tend to always look good with old school vans my opinion. That's because they do pick up on the white features in the shoe. Up top, I'm reflecting the navy with a nice long sleeve and then on top of that, a denim jacket. I mention this a lot in my videos. This is one of my favorite combinations on how to wear white jeans. If you take the classic look of denim and a white t-shirt and you just inverse it, this is what you get. And then with that added layer of navy in between, it really works well in terms of color. It's a nice, simple, straightforward outfit that is still interesting. You can always level up your look a little bit more if you choose your accessories right. So in this case, a pair of silver round frames with blue lenses, once again, picking up on that blue color scheme that we've got going on and a matching silver link watch. So we have that steel reflected one more time. If this is too hot for you, you can either swap out the denim jacket for a denim shirt. You can lose the top entirely, then obviously it gets a lot more simple. Or maybe you go for a navy tank top and then a denim shirt, that would be the lightest layered option that you have available here, at least as far as I can think of. The first two outfits were a little bit expected and I wanted to really just focus on matching the color, but with look number three, let's explore something entirely different. I think it looks dope when you dress up your Vans. Same with Converse, but today's focused on Vans. So here we've got a pair of great slacks from Canali. Up top from LBM 1911, a nice double breasted linen blazer that looks amazing. Underneath, I'm wearing that tank top one more time, just peeking out a little bit to pick up on the white of the socks and the shoes. And then we've got a really nice laid back, casual, but still very much dressed up, especially for a Vans outfit that I think really works. This is what I would wear if I was in Italy over the summer. Yes, it might get a little hot, but you can also pop the jacket open, let that flow a little bit, makes it a bit more of a standout look, but it definitely still works. Just because this blazer is a little bit more relaxed, it gives you that like laid back aesthetic that kind of is reflected in the shoes themselves. So I really like this look number three, gray, white, and tan for a nice color combination as well. Heading in the complete opposite direction with a look that probably a lot of you are gonna yell at me for, because to me this is a spring outfit, but to you guys it might be too hot. Please bear in mind that not everywhere in the spring it's already over 30 or 100 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. So here we have a pair of PacSun utility shorts in green. Then we've got the socks, this time nice and overt, on my feet with the gray old schools. And up top, matching that gray one more time, a nice Chicago Bulls hoodie from Abercrombie. Obviously this fit is a lot more street and I get that a hoodie might not be the best choice, especially later in the spring and early in the summer throughout the summer. You can swap this out for a nice thinner long sleeve t-shirt or even just a regular t-shirt that's a bit more oversized. But the main point here is the silhouette. I love having the shoes with the socks, then the a bit more relaxed shorts and then the more relaxed silhouette up top as well. So it's a really nice and comfortable look that still looks stylish if you're opt for the right pieces. Moving on to a real summer outfit, we've got a pair of white shorts then ditching the Uniqlo socks this time 
for the, well, still Uniqlo socks, but no-show socks. Up top from Abercrombie, a nice knitted polo that is buttonless, and we've got a nice white and tan combination all the way through in the shirt, in the shorts, and then also in the shoes, of course. The combination itself, straightforward, polo, shirt, and shoes, but opting once again for more interesting choices. Here in the polo, we have that intricate knitting design, and then the rest is really well color-coordinated, which makes this outfit stand out a little bit more. Obviously perfect for the summer, light, breezy and brightly colored. And I just realized that I lied in the beginning, the chocolate brown old school Vans are actually canvas and suede as well, not all suede, which I thought, but brings us to the next outfit and the first truly, truly dressed up one. We've got a double breasted suit from Suit Supply, then a chocolate brown t-shirt from H&M underneath, perfectly matching the chocolate brown. Vance. I think you don't see a look like this too often because Vance and a actual suit don't usually go together in most people's minds. But I think this looks really, really clean. Swapping out a shirt for a t-shirt makes it a lot more dressed down, a lot more casual, and thus matches the sneakers a lot more. Once again, it's a double-breasted suit. Obviously, that's a lot of fabric for the summer, but this is a nice spring outfit. And when you open this up, you get a little bit more air circulating around your torso, and that definitely helps managing some of the heat as well. Back in the yellow colorway, and this time matching it with the yellow right here, in this nice ASOS sweater. I posted this recently on Instagram and a lot of you guys thought that this was a little bit effeminate. Honestly, who cares? Wear whatever you really like and I really like this. So this is outfit number seven. We've got a pair of Orla Bar Brown shorts that are like just a little bit off-white, which makes them work perfectly with the off-white in the sweater here and the petals of the flower. Then we have that green base just to add a little bit more color into it. Generally, if these shorts are too short for you, I like this length. You can obviously opt for a longer short, but that's entirely up to you. I'm just here to give you guys a starting point for inspiration with all of these looks and honestly this entire channel. It's never copy me, it's this is maybe something for you. Please try it out for yourself. General note. Next up, we've got a bit of an experimental, more sporty look. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this because frankly, I've not really worn this a lot, but I think this looks good. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think, but this is what's going on. We've got a white mock neck from Abercrombie. Yes, not perfect for the summer, but I really like the aesthetic of the mock neck and it's not a turtleneck and also the fabric is really light. On my legs, also from Abercrombie, we've got these basketball shorts and then we're back in the navy old schools. And then I'm wearing a hoodie without wearing a hoodie. I really like the crossbody aesthetic, whether that's a bag or tying your sweatshirt around. So in this case, I opted for a Tommy Hilfiger hoodie in navy to pick up on the navy of the shoes and the shorts, but kind of separated a little bit. If I put the hoodie on, then I'm just pretty much all navy, which works too, but this is a fun way, like I said, to wear a hoodie without wearing a hoodie. Look number nine and hopefully another point to prove that you can dress up Vans. Here I'm wearing a pair of Zara Traveler pants in navy back in the white leather old schools. Up top from H&M, a simple button-down shirt in light blue with white stripes. The white picking up on the white of the shoes. The Traveler pants, honestly the perfect pants to be dressing up a pair of Vans, in my opinion. Why? Because they have that dressed up aesthetic, but they're super stretchy, they're super comfortable, and it shows, it just makes sense. With the shirt itself, I chose to tuck it in just to give it a little bit more length in the leg and to have a little bit more of a contrast of like the dressed up upper half and then the sneakers. But obviously no tie, not buttoned up all the way, no jacket or blazer on top of it, just a nice casual look. You can always layer, if this is too much chest for you but you do want to button it down that much, you can always layer in a tank top if you want. Nearing the end here, we're back in the gray old schools. This time picking it up with a floral printed button down knit polo shirt that is from Abercrombie. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a little bit of this tan color in the floral knit pattern. So I'm picking that up with the tank top underneath from Zara. Actually really nice. They have a couple of colors in store right now that look really, really great. All my legs from Suit Supply, a pair of white linen cargo pants that are just freaking gorgeous. I think I want to be wearing these a whole, whole lot this summer. And I think they work really, really well with the, you know, skate, original classic skate aesthetic of the Vans. The overall color combo is cream, gray, and white. And I don't know if you guys caught my last video, my last what I wore this week, where I focused a little bit on color combinations. If you didn't see that, check it out. I think you might like it. But that color combo pretty much comes pre-approved from myself, for myself. So hopefully you guys like it as well. Another look for the stone colored kicks, this time a nice earth color combo. We've got a cream quarter zip sweatshirt from Abercrombie. We've got from ASOS chocolate brown shorts, then the white socks once more. 
I told you about this early on. And then we're adding in from Zara a nice crossbody bag that's uh, like in a tan, medium to like dark tan, medium brown general area. The shorts are a bit longer than what it was used to last like two to three years, maybe even longer than that. But now I feel like with more streetwear influences and whatnot, I'm actually really liking the longer aesthetic again that actually goes down to the knee, which I know isn't that long for a lot of guys, but for me it is having worn like mostly like quarter, like three quarter thigh shorts for a while. Like you saw the Orlebar Brown ones before that were short short. So this is really long, but I like them as a nice color standout. And it's weird to think of chocolate brown as like a color standout, but in something that's otherwise very brightly colored and very neutral, the brown all of a sudden makes a nice pop. So that's why I really like this outfit. Last but not least, we've got a simple outfit, really just inverting the colors of the outfit that we just saw. So we've got the cream pants right here, chocolate brown sneakers on my feet, and then a chocolate brown in the t-shirt. Couple simple notes. One, I absolutely love the color combination of that tan and brown as you probably witnessed in a few of the outfits that I showed you guys today. And two, if you're gonna keep it simple with a couple of colors, maybe offer something that's a bit more fun. I actually don't even know what I think of this shirt yet. I recently bought it at Zara. It's my first time really wearing it and I'm not even wearing it out. We've got this little pocket detail here that is like a little crazy, but I think I like it. But I think I need to wear it like on a beach. But the point remains the same. Have a little fun with the pieces. So like obviously we have an interesting chest detail here, whether you like it or not, that's neither here nor there. But I hope you get the idea that if you're going for something a bit more simple, match the colors and then try and find pieces that are a bit more standout. With that said, we're through for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought of the outfits down below in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know down there as well. I'm gonna try and find as many links for all these pieces that I had here today for you guys to shop down below in the description, not the comment section, that's where you guys are at. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, a special thank you to you. And I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.